Hello students! Distance versus displacement. Yan ang topic natin sa araw na to. So habang nag-move or gumagalaw ng isang particle, nagkakaroon ng pagbabago sa kanyang location. Sa physics, meron tayong dalawang physical quantities na ginagamit para ma-describe ang pagbabago sa location. Subalit ang distance at displacement ay parehas nga ba? Sa araw na ito ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo ang properties ng distance at displacement. Mauunawaan nyo ang pinagkaiba ng physical quantities na ito. Magbibigay din ako ng mga halimbawang sitwasyon na kung saan i-co-compute natin ang total distance and displacement. Okay, simulan na natin. Una sa lahat, ang distance ay isang scalar quantity. Kapag sinabi natin na scalar quantity, magnitude lang, hindi natin kinoconsider ang direction. So, eto ang definition ng distance. Distance is the total length of the path followed by a particle. Meaning, ina-add nito lahat ng path na dinadaanan ng isang object. Nakadepende ito sa buong path na tinatravel, hindi lang sa starting at ending points. So, distance is always a positive number. Displacement is the overall change in the position from start to finish. Displacement is an example of a vector quantity. So, marami din halimbawa ng mga physical quantities na vector quantity, kagaya ng position, velocity, and acceleration. So, in general, a vector quantity is require a specification ng direction and magnitude. So, halimbawa, 30 meters north. So, para mas maintindihan pa, magbibigay tayo ng mga halimbawang sitwasyon. Okay, example number one. A high school student named Alvin walks 4 meters north, 3 meters east, and finally, 4 meters south. So, during the motion, ang distance ng path niya ay equal to 11 meters. So, meaning, distance is the summation of all the individual distance covered all throughout the travel. So, uh, ibig sabihin, 4 meters plus 3 meters plus 4 meter, that will be equal to 11 meters. Distance is equal to 11 meters. So, how about displacement? Paano naman ito kinocompute? So, from the definition that displacement is the shortest distance from the starting point up to the ending point, therefore, Alvin's displacement is equal to 3 meters. Then, ang direction niya ay going right. Ang displacement ay meron laging direction. So, whether it's up, down, left, or right. Or pwede rin natin gamitin ang geographical units gaya ng north, south, east, and west. So, isa rin indicator ng direction ang uh, positive. Usually, it means right, up, north, and east. So, pagka negative naman, ibig sabihin na ito ay left, down, south, west, and backward. Okay. Example number two. So, dito sa pangalawang halimbawa, si Ella ay tumatakbo ng 3 meters north and then 3 meters east. Para makompute ang total distance, kailangan natin i-add lahat ng path na dinaanan ni Ella. Therefore, 4 meters plus 3 meters, that will be equal to 7 meters. So, distance is always positive number. Sa pangalawang halimbawa, nakaform ng right triangle. Therefore, gagamitin natin ang Pythagorean formula para makuha ng value ng displacement. A, that will be equal to 4 meters. And then B, that will be equal to 3 meters. So, substituting all these values sa formula ng Pythagorean, we will be able to get the value of 5 meters. And the direction is north of east. 
Okay, another example. Example number three. So, halimbawa, you walk from your house to the friend's house that, that is 15 meters away and then you walk home. What is the distance that you travel? And then what is the displacement for the entire trip? So, ang do total distance traveled will be equal to 30 meters. So, add mo lang yung dalawang distance. Okay. While the displacement will be equal to zero. Okay. Take note that when a body finishes at the starting point, then there is a zero displacement. Okay. To sum up, distance is the total mo movement of an object with no regard to direction. It is a scalar quantity. It has magnitude but no direction. Displacement is the change in the position of the object and it is a vector quantity. It has a magnitude and direction. So, okay. So, thank you so much. I hope marami kayo natutunan. Maaari nyo i-press ang like button and subscribe to stay updated with the new learning materials. See you next time. God bless.